was watching to know about my, my deepest, darkest secret. Go ahead. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Shannon Chavez, and we're gonna go ahead and get into our day. As you can tell by the thumbnail, it's gonna be a Q&A vlog. I know it's been a minute since I done posted, but thank you for still tuning in, my Shay Bays. And if you're new here, go ahead and like and subscribe so you can know the vibes. So let's go ahead and get into it, baby. Okay, Shay Bays. So we're gonna start our Q&A. <laughs> y'all first of all let's hear it for the bun bun because if you well y'all new here so i did cup i done did a couple big chops already i didn't did probably like three or four big chops but i wear wigs a lot because i don't i'm not good with maintaining my hair but i'm gonna start in 2024 i'm gonna start maintaining my hair like i need to but can you see that bun you see that bun you see that bun shay bass because your girl, your girl, baby, the girl that had a fade, okay? You had a fade. So don't play, don't play with <laughs> Let's go ahead and get into the Q&A. And the first question is going to be, what is my full name? Okay, Shea Bays, when I tell y'all this, don't, don't talk with my parents, none whatsoever. Because don't play with them. Just don't. Don't play with them. But my full name is Shannon Chavez Stefania Simmons. That is on my birth certificate. That is on my license, Chavez. So that's why I like to go by Shannon Chavez. Um, I'm not too fond of Stefania, but they used to call me Foes. You know, that's my, you know, that's my street name. Foes. <laughs> I'm just playing. But yeah. You can call me, but y'all don't call me Shannon Chavez. Or y'all can call me Shay or Babe because you know how I'm your best friend. So Alrighty, next one. My age. If y'all haven't caught my age in my, I want to say it's like my second video I posted on my blog. I am 25, and my birthday is sep uh, is September 23rd, 1998. Your girl is a Libra, and I'm you know the last of the 90s babies. You wanna say? <laughs> okay, next question. Um, what is my deepest darkest secret? Hmm. You know what? Go ahead and like and subscribe if you have not done that yet. Go ahead and share with your best friends or with anybody else. Because before I answer that question, y'all need to stay tuned so you can know the vibes. So go ahead and like and subscribe. Okay. <laughs> we gonna come back to that one though. Okay though. Um. What kind of things really makes you laugh? Y'all, the things, I have a sick sense of humor, dog. So, sometimes, you know, my pain, the things that I've been through makes me laugh. So, and I'm, I'm sorry, but certain things other people went through makes me laugh, though, too. I'm a sick individual. I don't think you heard me. Come a little closer, come a little closer. I'm a sick individual. Woo! So I got a six and say human. Um, I've been through a lot. That's why. I've been through too much. If I was a dog, what kind of dog would I be? Mm. If I was a dog, what kind of dog would I be? I would probably be a poodle. What kind of out? What outside poodle do you know besides the duck hunting poodles? Besides that, they be in people's house. I'm a poodle. I get you know, I would get done up, get my nails done, get my hair done. I would be a poodle. I like poodles. Besides duck hunting, that's the only time they're gonna be outside. And besides using the bathroom, poodle me, baby, poodle me. 
Um, okay. Do I think double texting is a big deal? Okay. If I'm mad if I double text you and you still take it forever, I'm cutting you off. You're playing too much. I don't like being played with. But um, if, if I double text you, it's because I needed to add more stuff to what I said. And that's just a regular conversation. You know, I don't mind double texting. But if I'm upset and I'm double texting you and you take forever to respond, I'm good on it. I'm good, sweetie. I'm good. Um, if your life was a movie, what would it be called? Y'all, if my life was a movie, what would it be called? Oh. Dear Diary. That's what my life, my movie, my life movie be, uh, would be called. Dear Diary. Because, yeah, I don't went through a lot of stuff. I don't went through some very, very interesting things. Um, and I have been through some very, very troubling things. And I have, I didn't had a lot of ups more than downs. So I will call it Dear Diary. I don't regret nothing I have done. I don't regret anything in my past. If I could change anything, it would be one thing, but we're not gonna say that right now. I'm not gonna speak about that on camera because we're growing from that. But, um, yeah, um, my movie will be called Dear Diary. Um, oh, this is a good one. What made me, um, what made me become stronger in my faith into Christianity? What made me want to get closer to God? Um, it had this one time at church. We was at it was a word explosion, and it had this prophet named Prophet Green, and Prophet Green was just telling people, "You're gonna be this. You're gonna go to this college. You're gonna get this loan. You're gonna get this house. You're gonna get this car." He's telling people this, right? And I'm from Lake County, Louisiana. I haven't heard of a. I never seen a prophet before. I never went to no sermon or anything that a prophet was at. Never dealt with one of them. Okay, so went to this church in Ellick, you know, shout out to my stepmom at the time, because if it wasn't for her, I probably wouldn't be on the path of getting closer to him like I am now, because back then she planted that seed, you know, she helped planting, she helped plant it, that seed in me, and she watered it to, you know, for it to become where it is now, so I give her a lot of credit for that, and I love her for that, um, but we was all at church, and he was just calling on everybody and stuff like that, and before it was time to go, he was like, I got one person to, you know, to talk to. So he pointed at me. He was like, you stand up. I'm a kid. I'm looking around. You know, I'm on my phone. I'm like, man, I don't know who she is, but she need to come on. Come ready to go home. You know, I'm trying to go eat. I, I ain't want to come to church tonight anyway, you know. And remind you, y'all, hold on, I got a phone call. <laughs> All right, phone call over with, but I'm back. Um, Yeah, so basically he ended up telling everybody like, you know, sit back down, stuff like that, and he described what I had on. Now, remind you, I had already thought in my head like, look, if he don't call on me, I feel like you forgot about me. You know, this is things thing that I said in my head. And y'all, he pointed to me and I'm looking around, you know, I'm a kid or whatever, and then he was like, such and such stand up, he described what I had on. So I stood up and he was like, now walk to me. So I ended up walking to him, right? So when I ended up walking to him, he literally said, you think I, for you know, you thought I forgot about you. That's the first thing I said. So I was already shocked. You get what I'm saying? And I just immediately just broke down and cried, y'all. And he was like, you're part of a royal family. You're going to want to get your family back together. Hence, my mom and dad, my biological mom and dad, they're all back together. Um, he told me all these things that are coming to pass now. You get what I'm saying? And just for him to say he thought I forgot about you, and I thought about it. I ain't say it out loud. No one knew I no knew, no one knew what I, no one knew what I was thinking about. I'm about to cut that part out. <laughs> but no one knew what I was thinking about around that time. So um, it was no, it was it was no one but God because the feeling I had when He touched me was crazy, out of this world, y'all, out of this world. 
um that is how my seed got planted that is how I got into my faith now I had backslid a lot before and how I got back into it now y'all I had a real scary dream and it's like the sky was real foggy it was like a reddish orange color um and it had like like fire debris like ashes and stuff just all in the sky and then in front of me it was this field and in the middle of the field it had like this bleak like bleak <laughs> it had this big black hole full of um just blackness and the energy to it was just so terrible it was a scary vibe that came from the came from this black you know this big black hole when i um walked up to it and then i looked up and the only thing i thought about i was like i'm not ready i need to get ready and then it was like you're not ready you need to get ready and i was like he's calling and i woke up and i was like I need to go get some olive oil. I need to go pray over my olive oil and prophesy. I need to, you know, anoint the, you know, anoint my home and anoint myself. I need to get back in my word. I need to do these things. And that's how I got back in my word from that dream. And I feel like that dream that God gave me. I feel like God well, I feel like God gave me that dream and he got me to where I needed to be at in my Christianity, in my relationship with him. And that's why I'm going so hard for him now more than I was back then. Because I know that he is real. I don't know how many people believe in him or believe in Christianity, but I feel like that is something people need to actually get into because he is real. He is a sovereign God. So, yeah. Um. Next question. Do I have a dog? Yes, I have a corgi. His name is Dash. I'm going to have to insert a picture of Dash in here. Um. What would be my next question to answer? What was the last show you binge watched? The last show I binge watched was Tyler Perry Sisters. I did that one. I actually liked that one. Um, da -da 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 -da. What else? Which habit? But well, which habit are you proudest of breaking? I don't know why it said it like that, but what habit where I was, you know, what habit I was proud to break was smoking. That was my proudest habit ever that I broke. <clears throat> What's the weirdest nickname you ever had? Shadow. The nickname, I had the shadow nickname the shadow nick i have the nickname shadow because if you ever watch sonic um shadow is like sonic like other half but he's just all he's always mean he want to fight people and stuff so somebody gave me that name because they felt like i was mean and i was i always wanted to fight and he i mean he always wanted to talk to me after the fact and i always want to talk after the fact i thought i sat sat there and be mean all day so shadow was the weirdest nickname i had so shout out y'all <clears throat> um if you could jump into a pool full of something what would it be if i can jump into a pool full of something what would it be blessings if i could jump into a pool full of blessings i'd be i'd be the, the richest person alive but i take money let me jump in the pool full of money I take that. Just, just I'm claustrophobic, so I can't go all the way down. It'll be like a kiddie pool or something, cause I, I freak out. Um, hmm, hmm. What do you wish you was really good at? I really wish I was good at social events. Um, people might feel like I'm good at social events, but I feel like I get anxiety, and I always rebuke that, the spirit of anxiety, because sometimes, like, I talk fast, and people think that I'm, I'm just so happy go lucky when I'm at these events, but I literally just talk fast, and, like, I fidget with stuff. So, social events, and even, even when I'm vlogging, I'm getting used to kind of talking 
four people and stuff. Even though I know y'all not here watching me, but I'm, I'm kind of getting used to it. Little do y'all know. So yeah, um, if you had a time machine, would you go back in time or visit the future? I would go back in time. I will go back in time to remind myself that it's okay to make mistakes. Don't be too hard on yourself. That's why that is what I remind myself of. No matter how bad you stutter or your anxiety flare up, I would remind myself of that. Um. So yeah, go ahead, like and subscribe because you already know the vibe. But um. That's going to be it for the Q&A. If y'all like this Q&A, oh, yeah. Yeah, I was watching to know about my, my deepest, darkest secret. Go ahead and like and subscribe because if I get another 200 subscribers, I'll tell y'all my deepest, darkest secret. You know, subscribers talk. You know, BS walks. So, yeah. Stay tuned for that, though. My deepest, darkest secret because y'all, it's real juicy. And before I put myself out there like that, I need y'all to go ahead and like and subscribe and share and comment. Okay, so thank you to all my Shea Bays that watched this and already subscribed. Um, and to my newcomers, go ahead and like and subscribe so you can become a Shea Bay so you can know what we're doing every day, day. Okay, okay. So, y'all have a blessed day and go ahead and like and subscribe and share the video.